Emergency crews are pausing search efforts and moving into a salvage operation as they try to find more victims from Tuesday's bridge collapse. Now the focus will be on removing debris and reopening that channel. Divers recovering the bodies of 35-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and 26-year-old Dorlean Roniel Castillo Cabrera on Wednesday. The two construction workers were on Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge when it collapsed Tuesday morning after being struck by a ship. Crews are now clearing debris to recover more victims. We're now moving from a recovery mode to a salvage operation. The National Transportation Safety Board says the ship's first sign of distress came less than three minutes before the collision when the vessel's harbor pilot called for tugboats in the area to respond. Within a minute, police officers on both ends of the bridge were ordered to stop traffic. Officials estimate the entire investigation into this crash could take up to two years. Meanwhile, ship traffic into and out of the Port of Baltimore is suspended. Maryland officials say about 140,000 jobs are related to port activities, raising concerns we could potentially see a significant economic impact. Between 100 and 200 million dollars of value that, that comes through that port every day uh, and about two million dollars in wages uh, that are at stake every day. And that's one of the areas we're most concerned about. The NTSB says it's interviewing two harbor pilots today who were on that ship when it crashed. In Baltimore County, Connor Hansen, Fox News.